you would think that a show about an indian couple in a live in relationship would hardly have anything of substance but let me tell you that it does not matter whether you have ever been in a relationship or not you are going to find a little bit of yourself in little things season 2 which i would say is a pretty damn good reason to watch the show but before we talk about all that is good and bad about this latest indian web series here is some of the stuff that you need to know about little things season 2 little things is a web series about the sweet little moments experienced by a young couple in their everyday life the first season of the show came out in 2016 on dice media's youtube channel and the second season premiered on netflix this october the show stars mithila palekar and dhruv segal in the lead roles and dhruv segal is also the sole writer for the show and finally the most important thing that you need to know is that this show is relatable as fuck and with all of that out of the way let's talk about all that i loved about little things season 2 and we'll also talk about some things that i did not like number 1 is the obvious comparison between the season 1 and season 2 of little things and while the first season had a measly 6 episodes clocking in around 15 minutes each this one has got 8 in total the reason that little things season 1 did not work entirely for me is because there was a conflict between the theme and the format but season 2 is where they really get it Season 2 of Little Things is slightly grave, more mature, more somber and deals with some of the biggest existential issues that you can have in life. After watching it, something will churn and stir inside of you and you will question all of the little things that make up our life and their importance in the bigger scheme of things. Number 2 is the way the show treats both its actors and the characters. It allows its two lead characters, Kavya and Dhruv, the time to reach a stage where they are both frustrated and empowered by their inability to distinguish between romance and companionship while season 1 had little moments from their everyday life season 2 is really the notion that the generation have on figuring it out as we go along the cameos in the show are outstanding too vikram kochar is superb as throws chadi badi sandeep in the episode 1 Navni Parihar charms with a turn as Kavya's mother and then there's Paresh Pahuja who brings in the tone of jealousy to the series. I love how the show deals with some of the uh, nuances in the relationship. Like it question it makes the characters question like, what if we deserve a better partner that we have settled for or uh, what should we do when we are dissatisfied with life. The next thing I want to talk about is the storytelling of the show. Now it has definitely evolved in more ways than one than the first season. and it's quite obvious in the way the characters have evolved as well you realize that their issues in life are much bigger now this is something that i felt at times that the episodes were slightly longer than what they should have been like in certain cases like in the episode where kavya and dhruv go to party at kavya's boss's house things might get a little elongated but mind you that episode has a really great ending and i really love the part where kavya and dhruv come out of the bathroom after their slight very fun banter and the onlookers then smirk about their chemistry and it also adds on to the chemistry between the two lead actors and their characters it's pretty obvious that both dhruv and mithila have evolved themselves and so have their characters dhruv and kavya now since dhruv is also the writer of the show you can sense that it reflects in his acting uh, when you take note of the little things that he does by in the nuances that are present right there and mind you you can only watch these when you are lying down on your bed with your laptop and relax and watching it kavya has this plan that she wants to pursue and dhruv is quite laid back this adds to the contrast and it brings in the little complexity in the level of the show in comparison to season 1 this is where season 2 of little things really excels and it comes across as a worthy tv show on netflix now the show has a really great ending really inspiring ending but the thing that i loved most that it brings forth that points that there are always going to be things in life that are going to overshadow the little things that matter it really makes you wonder and reflect upon the things in your own life and the best thing about this show is that it does all of this so simply and so profoundly that you can't help but wonder whether where you yourself stand in your own life at the end little thing season 1 was charmingly adorable and delightful but season 2 is something that makes you reflect and ponder about your own life my advice to anyone watching this video is that just go and watch the show 
doesn't matter whether you had a relationship or not just go watch it it's a slice of life thing and you're going to just love it thank you so much for watching till the end uh, if you like the video just press the like button if you want to watch something else that i've made here are some links and i come up with this stuff once every week so make sure you subscribe until the next one bye bye